Welcome to the Edupedia World Virtual World Free Education. My name is Soraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Let's continue our lesson with the family of conditional math functions. In this video, I will show you how to use sum if and average if functions to calculate the total or the average of cells that match a specified criteria. And in order to use them, you should first learn their syntax. After typing the equal sign, type sum if or the average if, then between bracket enter three parameters. The first parameter, which is the range of cells that you want to apply the criteria against. Then the second parameter is the condition used to determine which cells to average or sum. And the third parameter, which is optional, and this is the range of cells to sum or the range of cells to average. And I'll show you two examples in which the third parameter is required and another one in which it is not required. So, did you notice that all three parameters are exactly the same in sum if and average if function? Suppose you need to know the amount of sales achieved only by females. Here is an example in which I have five columns name, gender, date of birth, age, and sales. Actually, it is the same example I had used in the previous video in which we was talking about the count if function, but I added new column that is column E in which sales are written. So, in order to understand, let's imagine how it works if I will do it manually. I need to look up for every female from the gender column, then go horizontally till column E and take the corresponding sales for each female, then add all these sales together. Now let's use some if function to do that. Click on cell G3 in which we want to insert the sum if function. Insert the function. We can search for it, or if you find it, click on it. The function argument dialog box opened, and here is the three parameters that I need to fill. The first one, the range. This is the range of cells that you want to apply the criteria against, and this is column B that contains the data of the gender, males or female. So click on the heading of column B. Then click on the criteria text box to move on to the next parameter, which is any cell that contains the letter F. For example, I can click B5. Then click on the third text box in order to enter the last parameter, which represents the corresponding cells for female cells that I need to add them up together. And this is column E. Now click OK. It will return the total sales that females have achieved. And we can repeat the same process for males. Click G4, then insert the function sum if. And now all the parameters will be the same as the previous example, except the criteria. It is changed from female to be any cell contain the letter M for male. So, the first range will be as previous, column B, select column B heading, 
then select the text box for the criteria and select any cell contain the letter M then the last parameter will be the column E so click OK to finish and here we have got the total sales for mail so in this example sum if helps us to summarize and analyze our data sales and the last thing I want to do in this example is to check the total sales by two different ways uh, the first one adding both male and female sales together and compare the result with the total sales from column E so let's add the values in column J by using the auto sum function to add J3 plus J4 and this is the result and let's check from column E at the end of the sales click on cell E57 then use the auto sum function to calculate the total yeah it is the same now shall we leave the sum if function and move on to the average if function and it is the same but suppose you need to calculate the average sales for females so we will repeat all these steps from the beginning but with a different function which is average if I will type it to search about it then click go yeah the average if is the first one and the function argument open and everything is the same the range is column B where males and females are written criteria for females any cell contain F and the average range is the sales column from which it will calculate the average uh, then click OK and this is the average sales that female can do so we have come to the end of this point where the third parameter is required so in the previous examples all previous examples the sales column was important to solve these problems now I'll give you an example in which the third parameter is the second range in the argument is not required imagine that you want to add up the sales amount that are greater than 10,000 in cell G9 again we will be using the sum if function ok insert the function sum if and the first argument the range where the sales and where our criteria is located is the sales from E2 to cell E56 and the criteria within that range is any cell contains data greater than 10,000 and if you think about the sum range you will discover that column E contains the data that we want to apply the criteria against and also it is the same data that we use to calculate sales because the first parameter and the third parameter are using the same range so leave this text box blank and click OK. Now we have got the value of total sales which are greater than 10,000 and you can check by subtracting the first 10 records in the sales column because they are less than 10,000 
from the total sales and then you will get the same value as we get from using some if thank you for watching edupedia world videos see you at the next video